All right. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. Everyone who's checking this out. Um, so I just decided to do a quick league because I had to help myself. Um, I want to move all four endurances in. I want to cut two wirewood symbiotes. I want to try two elvish spirit guys, which is something that Newton is uh, trying out. Um, and adding <clears throat> so on the side where we have two force of vigor and two mind break trap to sort of help these really fast decks. Um, so we have opposition agent main, only one visionary, still have oof main. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's just say I think I think especially on moto leagues, it's just so fast that maybe we don't need the wirewood package. So let's see if I'm just insane. Hmm, they have sixth. I don't think we need more redundant things, so let's just get a basic. Next turn we got have a three four, which is pretty nice. Mono red, it looks like. Let's see if they go reclaimer here. No reclaimer. Let's see if they go chalice here. No, nope, Fable. Fable's so fucking good, man. <clears throat> the only good thing about this Fable in particular is that uh, I did use the one to be Fear Guide and Chromox, so they are down. They will only have three cards in hand. Getting rid of Chalice and Trinus here, which is awesome for us. Um, so we can play, um, I think we just play, have play an endurance. This thing's a little annoying. We just need their last card, like, not to be Fury exactly. I'm gonna shuffle these cards in in case they have like anything, anything to shuffle the deck. Now here's Wirewood. Hmm. <laughs> that that thing that's literally the only card we can cut in the whole deck. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the only card that has uh has that strength. Oh, uh, they have Rabble. Uh, that's a little annoying. The, the token is only a 3-2? Oh no, because they make two tokens. Yeah, okay, that's kind of annoying. That's kind of annoying. Um, okay. We still, we're not like at the, okay. So we're just not gonna block that, right? We just go like block this, block this. I had 
I've read, huh? One, two, three, four. All right, let's see. This is all just going to come down to one combat step, huh? Okay. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, huh? So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can go to one. How much damage do I have next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. 5, 10, 15, 18 only. One, two, three, four, five. If I get another Dryad Arbor, I tap that six. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 24 damage. They would only have to block this though. Trying to think if there's a way that we could <clears throat> have a lethal crackback. Obviously, we're live. We, we, we just win if we draw natural order, but is there any way that we could be live without that? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I would tend to get, get another dried over here, which means this is the token. We're not blocking this. Then 8, 9, 10, 11. I think we go to one block here and... What would I bounce? Just block and bounce here. I mean, we can always, we're going to eat these two, right? So say okay, we're going to move the blockers. Um... The question is the, the question is that we just eat rabble. Like if we do something like that. Then we're taking seven, eight, nine, ten. And then get a dryad arbor. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty attacking. They would be able to chump with just Magus of the Moon. If I block here, no, it doesn't kill it. And what if I want to try to live another turn after this? I don't think I will though. So I sack one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Attack for five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three. They would be able to block five power with a Magus of the Moon. I think like this. I'm gonna take nine. I don't think Wirewood's doing anything here. I think we say okay. So we say okay. Let's save you on that, huh? One, two, three, 
four, five, six mana. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. They chump and we die. Do I play this as a land? I, I do I blew this up right now. If I blew this up, we're actually not in a bad spot, right? I mean, we're dead to Fury, but, you know, whatever, and then Hearse, okay, sure. Not mentoring, okay, what do you say? Here, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now we can just play defense. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can play this even. One, two, three, four, five. No, I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Actually, I can attack with this, I guess. We just got to rip natural order, I think. I wonder what the last card in hand is. Hopefully just a land. So we do have two force of vigors on the board at least. And they just, they keep ripping. I mean, we should be able to survive. We really just need to draw. Um... We really just need to draw fucking... <clears throat> they didn't crew this, which is good. Okay. So now we go... Block, 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 block. Now if I go to attack, one, two, three, four, and I can attack with these three and pump. Yeah, so I guess I have to leave it on defense. Just stalling until we hit the natural order. We've seen 21 cards already. No Fiend Artisan either. Like, no Green Sun. Uh, that card doesn't really have text right now. I mean, it, yeah, this is only four powered also. Just need a natural order. Oof. Uh, I think I'm going to take a turn off to play this. God damn it. I think they would have played a Fury. Fury. 
Okay, we've seen 37 cards. No green suns or natural orders. Come on, baby. All right. One, two, how much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> I can green sun for if I green sun for for grists they will be able to um activate den what else can we get here oh we can get fiend artisan we can get Grist or Fiend Artisan. If we go Grist down tick, so if I go Grist down tick, sack Dryad Arbor on this, we'll attack for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27. Right, we attack for 27, they have two blockers. Now they could block five and five and take five, 10, 15, 17 and go to three and then kill us with the den. Damn it, <laughs> this is really fucking hard, man. What if we just go Grist tick up? Or we can go Grist down tick, kill this and leave everything on defense. And because then we have all five fives. Now if I attack 5, 10, say they block, block, they take 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, so we just go on defense for one turn. Just turns on all our green sun zeniths for Crater Huff now. And then we don't care if they attack here, we have all 5-5s five to block. Oh, wait, this is seven. Oh, because it gets plus two, plus two. But they just chumped that in the other five, five. Yeah, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Oh, this Goblin Shaman has to attack, which is pretty good for us, I think. Could we get the block with a seven and a five here? Seven, five. And now we get to attack. Are you? F how does someone draw like that? Just, just how does someone fucking draw like that? Oh my god, it's just fucking unreal. All right. Yes. Fucking A, man. 20. How many cards is that? Ten, sixteen. Ten, sixteen, twenty two, twenty eight. 36 damage. Wow. <clears throat>
Wow. So this is going to be what, 7, 13. Yeah. Oh man, what a fucking game. <laughs> that was absolutely wild. That was, that was pretty fucking sweet. Mono red. I only faced just once at the pit. Yeah, we cut Wirewoods and Bajuka Bog. Just bring in Endurance. <laughs> but we have Plague Engineer and Force of Vigors because of this little change. Whew, man. Yeah, easy win, huh? I do have two spirit guys in here, right? Yeah. How do they keep a basic forest pass? That's wild. Dead gun, yeah. That's the only reason not like I, I actually passed. I think. Okay. All right. The big thing here is here is do we play around fury? And I think the answer is yes. And then fable. God, Fable's so fucking good. What? I wonder what's in their hand. Are they slow rolling like a hard cast Fable maybe? I think I'm gonna hold. I'm just gonna hold back a bit. But if I mean, if they start chaining like hard cast furies, which I'm sure, like that's obviously what they have. They 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 actually just can't have anything else. Like when you when you sign up to play mono red, it's like fables or furies. Like you're gonna get one in your hand. Which one do you prefer? I mean, if, yeah, you have double fury. I can't play around two with how this hand broke down, so. Yeah, they have double fury, Mages of the Moon. Or Chandra. Okay. Why would you bring this? <laughs> I guess, I guess it. I guess you're just gonna go up to this much mana pretty easily, apparently. Um, just say okay, right? And they have they had Den is there was that was Den their actual last land like? Um, uh, okay, do it down here. Sure. All right, let's see if on the play we can do anything better.
forest. Once upon a time into Sure. Interesting. Again, like, you know, Fury is just like the bane of us for Mono Red, so. Rabble? Oh my god, just Plague Engineer would have been so insane. Oh, am I supposed to bring in Progenitus? I am, right? I didn't bring in fucking Progenitus. I just, re I, as I drew this, I'm like, I'll natural order for Progenitus. <laughs> like, that's what my fucking brain thought. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> I was just gonna fetch a basic and get Progenitus and win. <laughs> that's so dumb. All right, sorry, chat, my bad. Yeah, it's a, it's a free attack for them for, for that, so it seems right. They have two cards in hand. A fiery confluence. A shatter skull smashing. God. Oh, oh, I could save this, right? Isn't there a trick? I can just get cradle. And now if I, oh my god, I feel so dumb. Yeah, the card doesn't have text. Um, yeah, I think I would have accepted a trade here. Looking good for the home team. People, it's just so fucking nuts how they always draw it. It's just so crazy. <laughs> like... We have a lethal fucking reclaimer here. Do they brick once?
Through like a dead gun? No, they would have just like gone it, right? Yeah, I was uh, maybe I was I was playing around something that maybe I didn't have to, but I'm gonna untap endurance then hoof. Now I could natural order the reclaimer. Yeah, that deck is so good. Fable and Fury are just... Remember when, remember when people played Mono Red without Fable or Fury? Like, how is that even a deck? That's nuts. <laughs> the song worked. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. All right. Let's see if we can get a W for you. Interesting. Uh, this hand's pretty bad. We have two Dryad Arbors in hand. I think we gotta ship it. Two dried arbors, I think, is a ship. Uh, we'll keep it bottom in once upon a time. Okay, not thrilled about it. The one visionary. What if this is Bomberman instead? It's probably worse, right? I guess we can have Collector Oof. Would mean more. Nope, Mono Red again. All right, Mono Red again. Which was just like the hardest fought match. And we just gotta like do it again. God, this deck is so good. So annoying. I'm glad we have spirit guides and vigor. <sighs> like, I. You know, there's some shit that just happens that you're just like, why me? <laughs> uh, run two dry at Arbor. <laughs> just throw the second one like 21 lands I'd rather have in the deck I would appreciate it if the opponent f6 when they don't have no game actions that would be pretty cool you play mono red it's one thing but like come on mm.
<laughs> Two hearses. Is this the exact same 75 we just faced? Main deck hearses. That, I hate how good this card is. And they're like, the main deck dead gun? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Draw like a shepherd here. Um. All right. That gives us like an endurance flash blocker. Maybe I was supposed to play Fiend Artisan and just offer a trade. Probably was, right? I probably should have just played in Fiend Artisan and offered a trade. It's kind of silly. Yeah, Dead Gone I've seen like here and there. It makes sense with all the, the Naya Depths in the meta. You know, you could bounce your Merc Tide Regents and stuff, so... God, we're just so dead to Fury. <laughs> There's just nothing we can do about it, huh? I guess we'll just die to Fury. I mean, we need a miracle anyway, right? So. The hearse seems fine, I guess. I mean, I don't play enough of the deck to know. Like, I, I know, obviously, like, Fable's sick. Master is great. Your moon effects are great. Just, uh, yeah, I couldn't say... They did not copy... Either of these? Wow. I, I'm sure that was, like, a misclick or something. Just getting the beats with the reflection? This is fucking terrifying. I have to stop the, the reflection, right? Something like that. Hopefully there's like a chalice on one only. Another rebel, okay. Interesting. So this gun, this game's gotten a little, a little weirder. I mean, they're on a, like a city of traders only type thing. Okay. The old triple rabble, you say. Okay. If I can untap here, I would need to draw land.
Just have a couple six sixes, I guess. Don't shock. No, 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 no. Why? Why are you shocking? Am I dead to that? I'm exactly dead to that, right? Oh my god, that's so frustrating. Right, I'm just ex literally just, just dead. I was going to get a Plague Engineer next turn. Oh, it's so fucking frustrating that they had exactly like the one squee. Triple rebel into one squee, huh? Yep. Unlucky. <laughs> Damn. We had such that fake fucking glimmer of hope. <laughs> Which is like the most frustrating part. Would I rather have opposition agent or a land that doesn't make green? Probably opposition agent. I could at least like block. That sucks. I feel like it's just a frustrating way to lose. Like in a position where like we beat Furies and like all that stuff and then they have uh, they hit land land squee. Damn. We're always one mana short. You know. Now we have the plague engineer. Oh yeah, we, we didn't even have plague engineer to look up. So. Yeah. It's a keep, right? It's definitely a keep. I think we just go turn one reclaimer, right? Try to leave the greens and for like a fiend artisan. He has dried arbors though, huh? Hopefully it's like just a blood moon. Not a fable. They exile the fury. Wow. That's wild. I'm probably supposed to fetch. Am I supposed to fetch by you there? To get this. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to fetch a the fetch a by you to turn away, but then I don't have two fours. I guess it's just. Yeah, fetch by you, then fetch forest with this. Yeah, I think I'm going to sequence that. Okay. Uh, so I just get a dryad arbor here. Then I can, gre I can green some X's too for a fiend artisan. Hey, what's going on? Um, let's try to turn it over, I guess. I got a girl. I got a girl. Uh, let's take care of this. Uh, so we're just going to fetch a forest here so we can get a natural order mana in case we top deck NL for the progenitus I actually remember to bring in this time. One, two, three, four. Okay.
They have to have a second Fury, right? Unless their hand was like Land, 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 Blood Moon, Trinosphere, Fury. Yeah, obviously it's a Fury. Fuck. God, this card is the, like probably the most frustrating card to fucking deal with. Natural order? Crater Hoof is three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen, blocking six. Yeah, he's got to call it. You know, he's got to call the shots. I mean, Trinosphere doesn't really do anything versus us, right? Like, they won because they had an insanely fast clock game one. Like, they, them just going, like, Trinosphere, Trinosphere. Like, turn one Fable is, is, like, I think, unless you're reversing a combo deck, is the absolute best possible thing you could do, right? So. I've not drawn the Spirit Guide yet. Let's see if we could uh, ripity rip a Spirit Guide in case we need it. Look at that. This is that Spirit Guide is insane, actually. Because you can go to, like, Lanoir, turn two Natural Order for Progenitus. So I'm going to keep this to see if we can get a turn two Natural Order. It'd be pretty funny. And you can go, like, Spirit Guide, Lanoir, and play land. So. It's like a Mold of Six, but, I mean, it's a good Mold of Six. What would be annoying? I guess Chalice would actually be annoying for once. The card normally doesn't have text, but they probably have it when it actually... Yeah, they actually have it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's annoying. That's so annoying. Ah, no. <laughs> Fucking what's the fuck time? Oh my god, what a joke. <laughs> This card is not even that good versus us. Like, you need it turn one, and I have to, like, you know, whiff that hard. Okay, sure. Need Beseju. And they had the city to be able to get Den going. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just bad beats. Sometimes it's just bad beats, right? The Den is uh is gonna be a problem. Alright, we're gonna we're you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna high roll. We're gonna high roll. All right, one time, just need a need a land, right? One time, let's go. If we ripped a land, we had natural order there, which would have been fucking good enough, but. Oh, god damn it. Of course they have it. Yeah. No, like, we, we made no decisions that mattered that game. The hand was good. You know, we literally win if we... Um, what do you call it? Yeah, I mean, we literally win if we just draw a land, right? So, one, two, three, four mana, so... What are you going to do, right? I mean, 
We actually, we actually had it. That could uh, like, if, well, you know, you could say if, but it was just like a lot of different things lined up weird. This was our first draw step, which was miserable, and we just didn't. The only we drew a cradle, we just couldn't rubric on another land. We draw a land, we just go one, two, three, spirit guide four, and uh, it's pretty sweet. Hamburglar, the ninja player. Props to them for playing fucking ninjas, huh? Okie dokie. Makes sense. Uh... Oh, preordain. Damn it. They're on combo. We're fucked. They're on a combo deck we can't beat. They top topped. We're fucked. Damn, the stream started so well. And then from, uh, looks like that game three is going to start to unhinge it all. Oh, thanks for the follow, dude. Thank you, for Thank you for beating me up and then following. Yeah, I figured it was a show and tell deck. Damn. They went away from the ninja roots and were fucked. I haven't. I don't think this deck like exists in fucking paper. If we're being honest. Oh, it's the pack deck? Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, deck's pretty bad. Let's... At least they're playing something fun instead of, you know. Um, endurances don't have text. Bajooka bug. Trap, I guess. Trap doesn't do anything versus it, right? Because they show and tell, put that in... They cast it. We both cast it. I trap. They trap my trap. So trap doesn't really even do anything. We don't really have anything for this match. We're just dead. <laughs> We're just dead. Uh, right? There, there's there's just... We bring in four thought seizes, I guess. Uh, yeah, sure. We just dead. Uh, no lander. All right, we gotta keep it. Uh, you're a cr this shit went off the rails fast, man. Uh, so what do we take here? Brainstorm? No, they have two cannons. Show and tell doesn't do anything. I guess it's a sudden substitution. Force figure doesn't even do anything, right? I don't know why I brought that in. It's silly. Um, I could take priority and hope brainstorm misses, but it never misses, right? I guess this requires them drawing a pack. This requires them drawing pack and hive mind. So we'll take this. Yeah, right? We gotta go for the turn one natural order. I guess that's, I guess you're right. I guess that's what we have to do. A 
apparently that's what we have to do. So, we needed like four spirit guides and a dryad arbor. That would have been some shit. You imagine, you fetch a dryad arbor, four spirit guides, natural order progenitus, go. Pretty funny. One of those once in a lifetime hands. Damn, brutal loss into a brutal pairing. Unlucky. Sure, buddy. We know it has force, so it'll at least make them get rid of something else. So they have show and tell unknowns. Let's see how good those cantrips were. Ah, we're just dead. They hit it. Okay, blue decks are good, huh? Blue decks, am I right? Yeah, oh my god, look at that. It didn't matter, I had two lands, right? So, yeah, it doesn't matter what I do here. Super interesting game. Okay. Yeah, that match, we're, we're never winning that. Never, ever winning that in the world, so. I actually have Karaka's main deck, right? So we could get lucky, but, yeah. All right. And now we're in the, the losing bracket. <laughs> we are in the losing bracket. 1-2 versus 0-2. Oh, Excellent. This will generate great gameplay, I hope. Next turn, Reclaimer Fiend Artisan. Nope, Underground C. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hey. Yeah, I don't know how it Doomsday is O2. Unless they, I guess they run into Delver twice. Boop, boop. Yeah, just... Oh, like, that, that loss just sent us on... Send us off the fucking rails, I guess, huh? Cool, 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 cool. One, two, three. Oh, it's to bad reanimate? Oh. Who keeps that for reanimate on a seven? That, is that a keep on seven?
Let's just top deck Caracas, huh? That seems like a like a bad keep, right? Iona. Iona. <laughs> Okay. Can we top deck Caracas? And they have Animate Dead? Oh, they have Exhum. They have Exhum. So they're gonna get Archon and go to six. I still don't think there's a, a route to victory. Uh, I guess Fiend Artisan is better than Allosaurus Shepherd. They picked Iona! They picked Iona! That's why they're in the O2 bracket. Okay. Oh my god, I would have gotten Reclaimer for Caracas then. Because, oh, okay. Okay, there's no way that's right. Um... Psychic so cat. <gasps> oh, I can't cast it because it's green. I was like, okay, <laughs> what's happening? Uh, so we get, we just go get grist, right? We just get grist. We sack shepherd, I guess. I guess we sack Shepard. Yeah, we're gonna kill Grizzle, but they can't even. We just. We should just. I'm saying. I think we just get rid of Shepard, though. Oh, and then I have to get rid of Lanoir anyway, right? So I just get rid of, and they can't attack Grizzlebrand, and they didn't have Animate Dead last turn because they cast Exum. It was weird. No, I mean, I have an insect. I have an insect I can sack. It's not a big deal. Speaking of insects, I would have milled two. Um, now I get endurance. Nice. Yeah, they, if they got Archon, they won. So we got pretty lucky. We got lucky that they misplayed, but then we like utilized that, you know, to to win properly. So that was good. Reanimator. Really just have this and this. Can leave collector if I guess, right? 
It actually cuts collectors. Okay. Um. I do run four endurance main. Oh my god. With the hands they keep, I want to keep this. We could still hit endurance. We have a bog if they just loot. On the draw, I think I have the mole. Keep it. I know we don't have mana, but uh, there's a chancellor of the annex. Chancellor of the Annex, huh? I think I think we're favored. I think we're currently favored. Yeah. All right. Should be should be pretty easy from here. We'll go to Dry Arbor. MTGO loved you tonight and hated on me. Hope you love them back. <laughs> they know what just happened to me in my last round. It's pretty funny. All right, let's finish out the league. Reanimator is definitely more winnable than uh than Doomsday, so that was nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna like. I don't want to tell them they play bad because then they'll just we pair into them again and they'll make the same mistakes, which is awesome. So. <laughs> Like, if they were nice, I would tell them about their mistakes. But if they're going to say that, then just keep making your mistakes, you know? <laughs> like... All right. One more, and then I get to go to bed. Fenrir Unchained. Rage990 with the follow. What's going on? Hope you are doing well. Oh, they play Omnitel? Fuck me. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing we could draw that's good against Omnitel, so I'm just going to keep it. All right, but thanks everyone for hanging out. Really appreciate it. This is going to be the last game of the night. It's sort of an impromptu stream. I just had some ideas to try with elves. I wanted to see how they worked out. Cutting Wirewood uh, seems good on mode. Oh, my God. Sneak. I'm thinking this is sneak. Obviously, it could be. Um... Uh, 
Oh, spirit. Look <laughs> at so many spirit guides, huh? Daze me, bro. <laughs> daze me. I dare you to daze me. Double daze me. Rug midrange. Okay. Let's see. If you're true. Let's see if we get a nope. Cool. And bolts. Super neat. Super, super neat. They have three cards left. I, I was 2 0 when I faced Pit. Like, the matchup is fine. Just, the deck is just so fucking boring. Just like. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Daze me. Nope. Maybe JJKBB2. Thank you for the follow. I feel like that name is familiar. I don't know if we've battled before, but hope you're doing well. Oh, Jim, both reclaimers turn. Yeah. You know, I was like using this to like bait Daves and stuff, but maybe I'm just supposed to overwhelm them and like, yeah, just use this to like turbo it out. This is my first league with the spirit guides, but. That's a good idea. Is just like overwhelm them so that they can't. Um, yeah, especially with the second spirit guide, there was no reason not to. That's a good point. It's just me, like I said, uh, not thinking about the spirit guides that are right in front of me. I'm thinking about them like pay for days and stuff instead of actually casting spells. Um, the only good thing is next turn we could use a spirit guide to green sun for an endurance, which would be pretty nice. Yeah, because that's one thing we can do right now, anyway. We can green some for endurance and pay for days, so I think we'll do that. How about Crater Hub, though, huh? And if they force it, we'll just play the other Reclaimer. Alright, they have two cards in hand. Punishing wild for caches. <laughs> wow. But if I jam both turn one, I wouldn't have been able to get a concession. <laughs> I know that's a that's a tilt concession. That's one hundred percent a tilt concession. <laughs> that's a fucking elvish beer guide and elves bullshit concession. You know what I mean? Um so so like I said I, I haven't lost to Delver playing elves. I do run four endurances, me, <laughs> with what I'm fucking around with right now. So let's cut Oof. We can cut Caracas. Um, we can cut some natural orders, perhaps. Well, I know Newton likes to trim these bad boys. He doesn't bring in Leyline, but what if we just bring in Leylines? Because <laughs> just because we have, we we can. I'm gonna try to bring in Leylines on the draw versus Delver. They probably think I'm like four spirit guides. <laughs> like, uh, that's a nice hand. I love casting once upon a time in their upkeep because it makes them want to force it, I think. Ooh. Want to reclaimer. Spirit guide's not good when they know about it.
So I think we'll just go to Shepherd Pass probably. Because we have the redundant Shepherd. Gotta hate drawing fucking Dread Arbor. Drawing Dread Arbor is such a pain in my ass, man. Oh, they're Jess guy. An uh, ending? Okay. Yeah, because I think they're going to kill it, and I think it's too good. Like, I think I want to go Shepherd into Shepherd Reclaimer. Especially with them having days. Because we have the redundant Shepherd, I, 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 I think that's okay. I'm not an elf pro, but I think, like, I think that would have made, like, that makes sense in my mind. Because they, they, they're 100% of removal for it, you know what I mean? Now we get to utilize the uh, spirit guide. on their upkeep trying to find more removal probably getting rid of a force is nice near of a days okay brainstorm jeez they really need to find removal for this reclaimer like the, the line I took now instead of them needing like the one removal they needed to find three removals so I think it made sense. Yeah, we're definitely going to bog them if they don't have it, but the deck sees a thousand cards. Like, how, how, how do they not have it? Of course they have it. How about, how about we just draw Bog off the top, huh? They have one card left. Imagine if we had Leyline in play. <laughs> I think I'm glad we brought this in. They're milling the world. Jesus Christ. DRC is a fucking joke, huh? Do you trade here? I think I trade. Would you trade? They have one card in hand? I think we trade. Because that's going to be a three-turn three clock when they flip it. They flip it's a three turn clock. Yeah, the other flips, I guess. That's a point. All right. I'm up a game, so I'll try it out. Do I once upon a time for Bog here? Is it worth once upon a time for Bog? I, I think it might be. Try to get lucky. I feel like 10% chance we hit it, something like that. Either draw one card, which doesn't seem impactful, or find Bog, which is huge if their last card's Murktide. Yeah, I got it. Gonna... Yeah, Endurance definitely is not as good, though. All right, let's try it. I'll try to high roll. Okay. Uh, 
And Submerge is the last card. Jesus Christ. Like, how quickly the... <laughs> like... That's weird that they chose that, I'll say. I don't want to fetch first. I don't want to fetch before I play it with all the fetches we put on the bottom. They have endings, bolts, and submerges. That just seems like such overkill. And Snapcaster. What the fuck? I really wish I had the natural order, huh? Bottoming Ponder. So is two, is two Wirewoods like the perfect amount? Why trade both? Just top deck and endurance. They put a card on top. That's kind of annoying. God, I run Plague Engineer. Like, where is this fucking Plague Engineer on human that's at three for one? A lot of their lands are on the bottom of the library from Endurance. <laughs> oh my god, Plague Engineer. Plague Engineer one time. Oh, Plague Engineer one time, please. Please, can I get a Plague Engineer? Oh, one time, Plague Engineer. I actually won't block here because I'm going to top deck a Plague Engineer. Should attack with this too. I'm gonna take two. I got high roll of plague engineer, and it's just insane. Oh, I saw black. I tapped the bayou. No. I 
I almost tapped this and this. Merktide. Be pretty big. You have to merc tide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to rip a natty crater hoof here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> you ever have a deck just say like "fuck you"? <laughs> <laughs> like the one turn after Bajuka Vog. Alright, um God even Plague Engineer there would have just been nuts. I guess I should have cast this first, but No, I should just leave this back actually. Yeah, I'm happy I brought Leylines in because the game would have just been, like, over if I had drawn any Leyline at any point. <sighs> what day top deck now? It's like the fourth fucking ending cast. So brutal. They're playing so slowly. <laughs> oh, they top decked another Merc Tide. Cool, cool, cool. So I have to block here, and then I'm dead because I cut natural orders. Yeah, triple DRC. It's pretty good. So I chump here. I could draw, like, I guess I like guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't like my chances now. God, that sucks. Like, Le yeah, Leyline seems great. I'm very happy I brought Leyline in. Just, like, unfortunate, you know? Try it one more time. So this isn't Delver. I don't think there's Delvers in the deck, I'd imagine. Looks more like a Jess guy something or other. They're probably probably bored the same as Delver though. Let's run it back. They just like little things, right? Like Bajuka Bog one turn late. Double double the Sage in your opener. Never don't have it. I mean, it's a good deck when, when you always have it.
Got to draw. Need them not to have removal. Uh, this is how we win. <laughs> they brainstorm, brick, and we draw land. They don't have land, we draw land. That's how we win this. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, it's impossible, man. Just bad beats all day. Uh, here we play a grist. Days. Of course you have days on the draw versus elves. <laughs> of course you have days on the draw versus elves. Sure. What are you cutting? You're not cutting removal. You're not cutting days. Like, We have Force Murktide. <laughs> it's going to be Force Murktide, isn't it? <laughs> uh, double removal, Days Force Murk. It's going to be pretty bad for me. Yeah, buddy. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Cool, cool, It is an 8-8. This is gonna... Because this is a well-designed magic card. Damn. It's a shame. Like, again, I don't think anything was, like, too bad in the deck. Like, when you, when you, you, know, you mulligan and then run into this hand, I don't think much about the changes we made had an impact. And Grist is dead. <laughs> Had to draw a Shriek Maw or a Snuff out there. All right. Can only get something X is two. Why can't I evoke my Shriek Maw from the... Uh, I guess I technically have one play. The only play in the book. Snuff out. I could make it bigger. Damn. Yeah, I have Shriek Maw, but it costs five, right? So. Um. All right. So the losses were mono red, which again, I, I, we actually had a legitimate shot at winning because of the Elvish spear guides and just like, you know, bricked on land. Um, maybe that was a mul I can't fathom the hand was a mulligan. We had to turn the blood moon beat. We could like the hand was insane versus fable. So, um, then we lost to sudden substitution, which you just, you're going to lose to it. <laughs> you know, you're going to lose to your sudden substitution combo deck. Um, beat Reanimator, which I figured we would with four Endurance main, four Thought Season Ley Lines on the board. And then lost to that. Um, or I think we're, again, you're just like at the mercy of, of the blue deck having all the cards. So um, I, I don't think the changes, like, you know, having Wirewoods, like, there, would that have helped uh, instead of what? 
You know what I mean? Like, there's just think about what it was in place of. Well, the answer is no, because, like, we wanted more endurances sooner and stuff, so. Um, yeah, I, I, overall I was happy. And like I said, I was happy with boarding in Leyline first to deck. We molded six and just didn't see it. But that, like, if we if we had Leyline, we just win the match, right? Uh, it is that good. Maybe I'm really supposed to just, I mean, they have Shredder, I guess. But I can't imagine, like, mulling a functioning six just to find Leyline, but... Or, or the, my mistake that game could have been that I snuffed out the Ledger Shredder. But the Ledger Shredder, in my mind, gave so much. Uh, if I don't snuff that out, I play Endurance. They force that. Then they play Murktide. I snuff out the Murktide. And they have a Ledger Shredder that's still, like, looting through the deck. So, in my mind, I guess, I could have led with Endurance. And if that got forced just passed and then snuffed out the Merc Tide. So maybe that was my mistake. Um, yeah, yeah. so I could definitely see that be, have, having been a better line. So maybe I screwed that up a little bit. Um, all right, I'm done. Everyone have a great night. Thank you for hanging out. Um, I like exploring these different builds of uh, Cradle Control. I um, really appreciate the subs, um, you know, that, that people are dropping. Uh, Arkham, nice seeing you. Thanks for playing my donation deck earlier. Um, yeah, yeah, but the Prime subs, it's awesome. The follows, really appreciate it. Uh, definitely check out my YouTube sub to that, if you haven't already, please. <laughs> Trying to get up to a 1,000 on there. Uh, you know, so that'd be pretty cool. So there's YouTube. Sub to that bad boy for free. Um, and yeah, everyone have a great night. I'll probably be back Friday um, for another stream. I don't know if it'll be this. I might take a break. Um, that was, uh, you know, that went off the rails pretty quickly. So maybe I'll find something uh, spicy to do on a Friday night, you know. Um, is there anyone else streaming that we know? Anyone else streaming like Legacy? Or, uh, oh, Newton just started. Wow, how appropriate, huh? So why don't we raid Newton? Um, we'll raid him. Uh, and yeah, everyone have a great night. Thanks very much. Let's shoot on over to Newton's stream. I gotta click like a couple buttons over here.